Well, hello everybody. Hola amigos. Shell stock. Yes, uh, I said shell stock, which I understand is hello everybody or hello you in Hungarian. Because I just received this parcel from bitcpipa.eu or bitcpipa Vasadlas, uh, an online shop in Budapest, Hungary, which happened to have the El Nefes new Turkish Nargilets um, in grass color. Digo que acabo de recibir este paquete desde Budapest, Hungría, por eso he dicho Siastok, que entiendo que es el saludo a todos en húngaro, y eh, supongo que Juliano nos estará viendo. He recibido este paquete en una semana, más o menos, ¿no? exactamente eh, seis días, y parece que por fuera ha llegado todo bien. Well, the parcel uh, took uh, about six days to arrive to my place from Budapest by road, and apparently it's in good condition. So let's now open it and unveil three or four dots which I might have. Digo que vamos a proceder a abrirlo y vamos a comprobar algunas de las dudas que tengo respecto a la Neces. Y es que esta es una Elmas 639, Tukrali Gunjali, es el mástil, ¿no? el ser en turco. Y eh, la pipa que viene tiene que parecerse mucho a esta. Pero creo que el tubo podría ser más grueso. Obviamente esto viene a rosca y es eh, macho en el caso de la pipa nueva. Y el, y esta parte de aquí tiene una válvula y es de forma diferente. Lo demás es muy muy parecido. Vamos a ver hasta qué punto. And by opening the box, box we will unveil some of the mysteries of these Elnefes pipes, which I understand should look this Sultan. Well, Sultan is the name they give it in Hungary, and it is reversed with the German names and the ones you find on Shish Shop in the UK. Now it should look quite close to this. Elmas Nargile 639 Tugrali Dunyali, meaning the big Tugral. This is a Tugral, Tugral, the cipher of a Sultan. And uh, this is the big one, which this element. And I understand that new pipe should be wider, should have a wider copper down stem, a male bowl, and a perch bar. Otherwise, it should be quite similar. Let's have a look at it. Vamos a ver. The box is in good condition. Quite large and rather heavy. About 5 kilograms. Oh my god, it is full of very small stuff. Viene muy protegida con gusanitos muy pequeños, por lo cual nos va a dar algo de trabajo. Vamos a ver. Un cepillo de buena calidad. Good quality brush for the pipe. And here comes the back base, which is exactly the one I wanted. Y la botella que es exactamente la que quería. Turkish base, very nice one, has to be cleaned and emptied of this <laughs> stuff, uh, very nice indeed. Now, what else? Here we get the bowl, la cazoleta, que es una el nefes. This is an Hungarian copy of the alien mini funnel bowl, which I've got to try. It's much, it is much lighter and smaller than the alien, the original alien mini funnel bowl. And we'll have to try it. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. 
okay, some nice oil, some El Nefes grapefruit tobacco, grommets, and here comes the pipe. Very nice. Muy bonita, aquí está la pipa. Bien, efectivamente, the tube is, uh, the down stem is much wider. This unscrews and the whole tube shall come out. Yes, I feel so because the whole thing moves. Um, um, yeah, you've got a growl here, but it is different from the other, and the design here is different as well. Perch valve looks nice. And this is normal. Very nice. So. Now here's a very nice um, ashtray. Aquí está el plato, muy bonito. Similar to the Elmas Papatia. And this should come in here. And it screws down into position. here I don't reach the down stem maybe here you have it very interesting so it is in two parts let's hope that there are no problems with it very interesting stuff. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I don't think so. Okay, got to clean up the mess. Entonces, el asunto es hacer pasar esto aquí. y que llegue al final. Hmm, still with the same problem. Doesn't reach the other side. I think I'll fix it and uh, we'll review the pipe la later on. Let's see if it works out here yes it does so it shouldn't be a any problem let's try and put it down from here no it wouldn't pass okay anyhow i'll see how how it works this has been the review which confirmed what I suspected in terms of uh, how it was built. Very heavy, top heavy, very interesting pipe. Okay, digo que eh, confirma mis sospechas respecto a cómo estaba construida. Lástima que el tubo esté en dos partes. Espero que esto sea estanco y por lo demás pesa muchísimo y se parece pero no es idéntica. Voy ahora a, a, a intentar montarla debidamente limpiarla y uh, bueno haremos la review. bueno y esta parte de aquí también se desenrosca pero creo que está bastante dura para ver cómo está ok nada más gracias